Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pre New York analysis and London review today Monday the 23rd of October 2023. So going into the New York session we are potentially still looking long-term buys. We haven't really changed anything from a macro perspective. We've still got the tensions in Israel um, and we've still got this the geopolitical um, wrangling around what the US is going to do, whether they're going to um, step in and help or not. But underlying behind that, we've also got to think about the, um, the bond market are very, um, they're basically telling the US government that they can't go to war uh, by the way that they're pricing the structure and the, the way that the, the US government would have to use money to uh, send and deploy uh, more military assets uh, that is somewhat determined by the bond market. So um, that is going to be playing an effect and going into NFP next week. Now, um, Jerome Powell at the end of last week, I did mention that we'd be looking out for what he was going to say and what sentiments he was going to be given. And that was more on the, the dovish side. So we aren't expecting any more hikes. So we need to be a little bit cautious in terms of what the markets are expecting to do. Obviously, we've had such a bullish uh, week last week off that huge sell off. We then had a bounce and um, stepped in on the back of the Ukraine and risk on scenario um, and pushed gold up to um, the highest that I was talking about, um, about 1988 level uh, on the daily was a significant level. So we pushed up there on, at the close on Friday, which was a bit unfortunate because if you did remember, I was in a long position, which took me out and then ended up going to where I wanted to score and take profits would have been. But, you know, we can't always, well, we don't know what's going to happen in the market, so we only we can only execute our edge and manage it accordingly to our rules. And then, you know, we just take each trade as it comes. So that was that. So anyway, coming into the, today, um, there was, again, for London, I was looking for longs again. As we can see, I've got myself into a nice little long position at the start of the session. Um, and this pushed up and just tickled TP. It didn't close me out. Uh, spreads didn't uh, fill me. So I manually closed a position a few pips uh, lower than my full take profit. So um, that was a, a really nice push this morning. Got a, got a good six to nine pips out of that. And um, yeah, just a, a nice way to start the week after taking that uh, loss on Friday. So that's how we move on. But we can see that as price action sold off during the open, open and Asia session, we had a rally off this strong level. Um, we pushed up back into this basically where the price action was so sticky all basically all, all Friday. Um, it was around, hanging around this this 1981 level. Um, price was above it, below it, above it, back to it, below it. So yeah, it, it made sense that we were going to see some sticking points um, around this price action but going into New York I, there's no news today so just be wary that there's no fundamental catalyst that could push gold um, significantly one way or the other so just trade price action as you see it and if it gives you an entry model take it uh, whichever direction that it's given telling you to I'd still be more inclined on the buy side just because People are going to be looking that this is going to be reversing uh, short. So don't necessarily think that. So buys probably would still be uh, like a favoured um, going into New York. So if that does happen, especially if we either drop down back down to this level here around this 1967.5 level, or if we get them close above this, this level again, this 1981, uh, you could look potentially for a retest and, and ride this higher. So... A couple of things for you to look look for there, but um, I hope that's been a fairly good one, and I'll catch you in the next one.